Spring marks the return of storm season, rain, thunder, lightning. None of them scare me quite like hail does, that's for sure. And if, it hap if you happen to fall victim to hail damage, be on the lookout for scammers. It's crazy you even have to think of it, but they are out there and they are going to make it even harder for you. Here to help us get it all settled is Rob Petkin, president of Bordner Home Improvement. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. The summer seasons are upon us and it makes me nervous. Hail really does scare me out of all the different storms storm things. Tell us what we need to be on the lookout for when it comes to hail damage. Yeah, so hail damage to your roof um, is one of the things that can just really shorten the life of it. And so it does take a certain size hail to do damage to a roof that's going to threaten it. A lot of times the damage doesn't immediately cause leak problems, which is one of the worst situations with the roof. But the reason that you have to be aware of it is because over the long run, it's really going to shorten the life of that roof system. So you might not see it right away, but it might just be happening over time. Tell me some about scammers when it comes to this kind of damage. You know, I, you think about credit card scammers and all these other scammers, but I never thought that this would be something that would be scammable. So tell us about that. Yeah, I think anytime an event happens where there's all of a sudden, you know, a lot of money available, right? Like a lot of insurance claims. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be a lot of really good people out there who are really focused on just helping their customers out and taking really good care of them. Uh, unfortunately, the ones that end up on the news a lot of times are the ones that are taking advantage of people. Yeah. And, and that happens as well. So just, uh, just being aware of some really good basic things about who you choose to do work with uh, can really help to avoid some of the scams of giving money to people who have no intention to do the work for you yeah. or uh, or things like that. Is there anything that our viewers should be on the lookout for when it comes to verifying the credibility of people who are, are offering these things but might try and scam us on the other end? You know, I think the first thing that comes to mind for me is just use the common sense that you do in, in doing business with anyone, right? Um, looking online at the reviews online. Uh, what's the company's longevity uh, within Kansas City? One of the great challenges roofing wise is with Kansas City being centrally located, if there are storm events, a lot of people can come into town, look to set up shop, do a little bit of that work, maybe even seek to really do good work, but their real challenge is then being able to follow up if there is an issue or a question you know, with the work that's done. Uh, say there is a hail event and we think that there might be some damage to our roof. Are there some telltale signs we should be looking for? Again, I don't really want to have to get up on my roof, but how would I know if there's damage? Right, yeah, so the first thing is look for, uh, if you look at your gutter downspouts okay. and you see a lot of dings okay. uh, and pings from that hail in there, that's a sign that some of the soft metal uh, around the home has uh, has received at least enough of an impact to have damage. Okay. Uh, that would be one telltale sign from the ground uh, that you can look at. Uh, obviously the volume, if you're at home in the storm, it takes a pretty good volume of hail. Um, you know, so you're typically gonna see at least it covered in the yard and so forth. Uh, the size of it, you're looking at probably at least quarter size okay. and larger as a general rule. Uh -huh. uh, but probably those gutters are the best way to check as a homeowner, just have an idea of you know, what did that impact really look like? Yeah, keep an eye on those gutters. Now, are there any common pitfalls that homeowners should be aware of when it comes to making a claim for damage that might be on their home? Yeah, the process can be really confusing because uh, as policies are written, you have different coverage for sure. different policies and different insurance carriers do things. So I think the number one thing is to make sure that you have a contractor that you can trust. Sure. Um, and that usually comes from talking to people that you know. Number one, we're looking for local names, people that have been in the area for a while, have a reputation, have online reviews where you can see what they've done. And then from there, look to partner with them. A really good roofing contractor is gonna partner with you. They're gonna partner with the insurance carrier mm -hmm. to make sure that everything that needs to be taken care of is, but it should really, it should really be a partnership in the end. Yeah, that makes sense. Are there any questions we should be looking to ask the contractor that is coming out to fix our roof? I almost feel like I wouldn't know what questions to ask. I, my, the question I would ask would be, is my roof okay? Yeah. <laughs> but is there anything else that we need to know to ask? Yeah, so do they have a local office okay. that you can physically verify is present? Okay. Uh, someone that you can call and, and the phone is answered in a professional manner. That's a great start. Mm -hmm. Uh, some other things to ask is what do they do specifically to deal with Kansas City weather? Sure. Because we have a great challenge in that we have the extreme summers and the heat and we have the extreme winters and everything in between. So your roof system in Kansas City really needs to be designed with all of those weather patterns in mind. Is there any maintenance that we should be doing on our homes to uh, protect the integrity of the roof? 
you know, so that little things don't end up piling up? Yeah, it's a great question because so many times the roof can be out of sight, out of mind. So true. Right? If, it's, if there's not a problem, yeah. I don't really think about it. Uh, but one of the things that we recommend is just annual maintenance on a roof, much like your uh, air conditioning, your furnace. Uh, it's a really good idea to have that looked at on a yearly basis to make sure that there aren't uh, tree limbs that are dragging on it causing premature deterioration. Sure. Uh, the gutter system is getting water off the roof and off the home, away from the home properly. Uh, all of those things being inspected, the pipes that come through the roof and the sealants around those are the most common sources of leaks. And about, uh, on average, 80% of that stuff can be prevented just by doing annual maintenance and a maintenance check on the roof. Thank you so much, Rob, for being here and for these tips. I'm a new homeowner, so I appreciate any knowledge that you can impart on me. That's for sure. So thank you so much for being here. Think Bordner if you're in need after a situation like a hailstorm. It is literally their website name, thinkbordner.com. You can't forget it. If you need some help, head there. They will help you out with everything you need.